In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up your Yolobox Extreme so that you can output your show to Zoom, Teams, and Google Meet. Before you begin, make sure that you've got your show all set up and ready to go. You have two options to output your show if you aren't directly live streaming. You can either use the USB-C port or you can use one of the HDMI outputs and use another capture card. There are pros and cons to both, and I'll get into them later. The Yolobox Extreme is a fantastic streaming device. I don't know of anything else on the market that can do what it can do and in 4K. When I'm doing live streaming for clients though, I'm not typically going out to YouTube or to Twitch. I'm using Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So I have the need for plugging the Yolobox Extreme in to get a live feed out for those programs. The easiest way to connect your Yolobox Extreme to your Mac or PC is to use the USB-C connection, and I advise you use a fast data USB-C cable. Before you plug in the cable though, you must enable the USB-C output in the menus. If you do it after you plug in the device, you're going to encounter problems both on the Yolobox Extreme and on your computer. There are a few differences between how the Yolobox Extreme is interpreted by Mac and PC, so we'll get into that. I have an M2 Max MacBook Pro and a Windows 10 i7 3060i Windows PC. On PC, the Yolobox's USB-C output is automatically set to whatever the frame size is of your display. In my case, it's ultra high definition, and that's absolutely fine. On Mac, it's a little bit different. QuickTime interprets the signal coming in as a 720p signal, and OBS interprets it at a maximum resolution of 1080p. Also on Mac, you'll be slightly unnerved at first when you see that the audio input is displayed as inactive. I believe this is due to our driver mismatch, however the audio is still being received and interpreted by the Mac. If you prefer to connect your Yolobox Extreme via HDMI, say if you want to record to an SSD, you can use one of the HDMI outputs and another capture card to get the signal into your Mac. The main benefit that I find from this method is that you get so much less compression than by just using the USB-C output. You also have control over the output resolution, which with USB-C, you don't. Luckily, all three of these delightful meetings apps work in pretty much the same way. Zoom has a few quirks with Mac, so I'll start there. In Zoom, select your microphone and camera sources. In USB-C, you'll get the Yolobox inactive icon on Mac, but just ignore this. If you're using a capture card, it'll be whatever the name is of the capture card that you are using. Then once your meeting has begun, click the button that says original sound for musicians. This is so if you have any local videos on your Yolobox Extreme that have built-in music tracks, Zoom is going to be filtering them out if you don't enable this. And that's it, you're ready to go and your Yolobox Extreme will run your show as normal. The process is pretty much the same in Microsoft Teams, only make sure you turn off noise suppression. And again, it's pretty much the same for Google Meet. So in this Zoom call, the feed from the yellow box extreme is going through HDMI out into the catch card, into a USB hub, and then out to Zoom. And this is the feed that you're seeing. And I'm recording this on another computer with a terrible webcam. And this is a feed from Microsoft Teams from the MacBook Pro with the Yellowbox Extreme going out our HDMI into a capture card, into a hub, and being sent over Teams. And this is the web version of Teams uh, recorded this side because the desktop version of Teams on Windows 10 doesn't work anymore. And this is how the Yellowbox Extreme looks when it's coming through Google Meet. And once again, web browser, same setup as before, Yellowbox Extreme, out through HDMI, into a capture card, and into Google Meet, 
on that. I did say earlier that there are one or two little things that can catch you out. The first for me is that the capture cards on my MacBook Pro do not all behave the same way. My old faithful Camlink 4K actually didn't like being connected to my Mac, but without first going through a USB hub, like this one from Satachi. I had far less drop frames on this £10 capture card. It was very bizarre. The 720p capture from USB-C has also caught me out, so it would be nice to be able to set the output resolution and frame rate in the USB-C menu, just like you can from the HDMI menu. Apart from that though, it's actually a relatively simple workflow to bring the Yellowbox Extreme into Zoom, Teams and Google Meet. So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Any questions? Let me know in the comments.